Hey everyone, it's Mr. Veve, and this lesson is on mutations in the genetic code. So let's get right into it with our first key concept. Gene mutations are changes in the sequence of the DNA. Now when I talk about sequence of DNA, I'm talking about the A's, T's, C's, and G's, the nitrogenous bases. Now if you change the sequence in the DNA, that could be problematic because that could change the messenger RNA sequence, which could in turn change the sequence of peptides or amino acids in the polypeptide chain, causing a change in the protein. So some mutations are actually very good for the organism. They could give them an advantage over other organisms they're competing with. And some mutations can be very bad, cause early death or even really bad diseases. But most mutations, the vast majority of them, are actually neutral. They wouldn't even know that they uh, occurred because there was nothing that happened because of them. Now there are two different types of mutations we're going to discuss. One of them is called point mutation. So a point mutation is when you take a single base and you change it. And when that happens, you make a new amino acid or a different amino acid than you should have before. So you got on the left-hand side your normal uh, strand of DNA, messenger RNA, and the polypeptide chain that goes with that. Well, what happens if we change one of the bases? We change one of those C's to an A. Well, as you can see, that changes the messenger RNA below as well, which in turn changes the amino acid in that chain. So a point mutation is really one base one amino acid is affected. Now, this mistake is usually caught by DNA polymerase, but one for every one billion bases is actually missed, and that causes problems. So let's look at what happens when there are some uh, issues and what diseases they can cause. So sickle cell anemia is the first one, a disease that affects hemoglobin. So that's a protein in your red blood cells that helps deliver oxygen to your body. So sickle cell anemia is when you have your normal red blood cells that you had a point mutation in, the protein coding for that hemoglobin, and the red blood cells actually change shape to this sickled shape. It's an inflexible chain. It occludes your blood vessels. It's really bad. Um, but this point mutation is specifically, there's a codon that is GAG, and instead of GAG, it is GUG. So that A is changed to a U, which means instead of getting valine in your polypeptide chain, you get glutamate. And that small little change can cause a really bad disease like sickle cell anemia. The other one is Tay-Sachs disease. Now Tay-Sachs disease is inherited, um, and so is sickle cell for that matter, um, but it's very specific. Uh, Tay-Sachs disease is inherited by uh, mostly people of Eastern European Jewish descent. It's very specific, but this disease affects beta hexosaminidase A. And what that is is an enzyme that breaks down these toxic substances that build up in your brain and spinal cord. And you can see a picture of a normal neuron on top and an affected one by Tay-Sachs on the bottom. I don't expect you to be able to understand what all it means with the bulging lysosomes, just a picture to show, show you there. But this is caused by a point mutation that ends the protein prematurely. So normally there's a protein that is code, or a, uh, an amino acid that's coded for with UAC, that's tyrosine. But what happens if you change that C to a G? Well, now you have UAG, which is one of the three stop codons. So prematurely, we've stopped making that protein, and it no longer functions the way it's supposed to. So this is very bad. So the other type of mutation we're talking about is frame shift mutation. That is when you get an insertion or a deletion of one or more nucleotides in a DNA sequence. Um, so pretty much wherever you insert or delete that, uh, that base, it's going to affect every amino acid after that. So if you look at our normal one on the left-hand side, let's say you take out one of the, uh, the guanines, for example, where it shows you on the right-hand side. Well, if you look how that affects the protein on the very bottom, every uh, amino acid after that point has been changed, um, or it will be changed. They may not all be changed um, completely, but the whole sequence is now messed up. We've shifted that whole frame to make something completely different. So... An example of this is something called cystic fibrosis. This is a disease that affects protein channels that uh, have to do with chloride ions and the movement of water. But really what's important is what happens is the mucus that is in the airway of someone with cystic fibrosis is much thicker than it should be. And this causes a lot of breathing problems and usually uh, early death if not uh, kept under control. So this is caused by a frame shift mutation where you have a deletion of three nucleotides. So one whole codon, a UUU, is deleted. 
and that deletes a whole uh, amino acid phenylalanine, as it were, and that takes that away from the protein and causes it to not function properly. So the last thing we're going to talk about is cancer, and um, breast cancer is one of those where we have identified over 500 different mutations on chromosome number 17 that we think may play a role in the development of breast and ovarian cancer. Um, most of these are actually because of frame shift mutations. So you've inserted or deleted um, certain uh, 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 nucleotides that then cause all of these proteins to be messed up down the line. Uh, prostate cancer is another example where you have a frame shift mutation that leads to a premature stop. So um, remember, if you change a single nucleotide and it, uh, it makes a different uh, amino acid, that's one thing, but if it causes it to stop entirely because you get one of those stop codons, then that can be very, very bad. And uh, incidentally, what happens with this prostate cancer one is you have this protein that instead of being made, which uh, prevents apoptosis from happening, uh, you actually get a cancer cell that keeps on growing. It does not go through apoptosis.